Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Yeshi Chanzo. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday, the 13th of July. Sri Lankan President flees to Maldives protesters storm Prime Minister's office as state of emergency declared. Monsoon rains wreak havoc in India and Pakistan, thousands affected. And BBC report alleges UK special forces killed dozens of Afghan detainees. And now for all the details. Hours after Sri Lankan President Gotabaya Rajpaksa fled the country on Wednesday after a people's uprising over the devastating economic crisis, hundreds of protesters stormed into the Prime Minister's office demanding his resignation. PM Ranil Vikramasinghe took over as acting president in Gotabaya's absence and declared a state of emergency. But this did not deter protesters from occupying government buildings. The parliament is scheduled to elect a new president on July 20. Hundreds of angry Sri Lankans clashed with riot police and stormed into the Prime Minister's office on Wednesday demanding his resignation. Hours after President Gotabaya Rajapaksa fled the country for Maldives before he was due to step down after a people's uprising over devastating economic crisis. The President's flight brought an end to the rule of the powerful Rajapaksa clan that has dominated politics in the South Asian country for the last two decades. Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe, who took over as interim president in Gotabaya's absence, declared a state of emergency and clamped a curfew in surrounding areas. But that could not deter the protesters, who breached his office compound despite tear gas shelling and unfurled the national flag atop the building. The protesters see Vikramasinghe as an ally of the Rajapaksa clan and want him out. Ranil Vikramasinghe, fail Prime Minister. Uh, we we uh, all people don't don't uh, uh, president in contrast to the street battles at the prime minister's office hundreds of people queued peacefully to tour gotabaya's official residence and the secretariat just a few miles away parliamentary speaker mahinda yapa abey vardhana in a video statement announced that the new president will be elected by the parliament as per schedule on july 20 he said Rajapaksa telephoned him saying that his resignation letter will be sent to him by tonight. Local media reported Gotabaya Rajapaksa, once a feared former soldier, was likely to leave for Singapore from Maldives. Earlier, India categorically denied speculative media reports that New Delhi facilitated Gotabaya's travel and termed them baseless. It said India will continue to support Sri Lankans through democratic means. Protests against the economic crisis had simmered for months, with people blaming the Rajapaksas and their allies for runaway inflation, corruption and a severe lack of fuel and medicines. Several South Asian countries, including India and Pakistan, are experiencing monsoon rains leading to floods, waterlogging that has disrupted normal life and displaced thousands. Amid incessant rainfall in western Indian state of Gujarat, situation remained grim on Wednesday with roads submerged and rainwater inundating several districts. Heavy rains and overflowing rivers in India's western Gujarat state have resulted in severe waterlogging and flood-like situation. People are facing the wrath of nature with their property, grains and other food items being damaged in floods. Residents in Navsari district of the state, which has been reeling under flooding, were forced to wade through flood water as high as their waist on Wednesday, as their houses remain inundated. A total of 9,500 people have been evacuated from the affected areas in Navsari district so far. पलंग खराब हो गया, गर्दा खराब हो गया, सोफा खराब हो गया, सब भी गया है। किसी के घर में खाने का गेहूं खराब हो गया, 
किसी के वहाँ चावल खराब हो गया टोटल और बहुत सारे नुकसान बहुत है गुजरात चीफ मिनिस्टर भूपेंद्र पटेल हु रिव्यू दी सिचुएशन फ्लड एफेक्टेड एरियाज ऑन वेंसडे इंस्ट्रक्टेड ऑफिशियल्स टू प्रोवाइड ऑल नेसेसरी हेल्प एंड फैसिलिटीज टू दोज अफेक्टेड मीनवाइल एट लीस्ट सिक्स पीपल डाइड इन रेन रिलेटेड इंसिडेंट्स ओवर द पास ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स एंड नाइनटी फाइव पीपल वर इवैक्यूएटेड एज हैवी रेन्स बैटर्ड सेवरल डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ वेस्टर्न महाराष्ट्र स्टेट In Pune city of Maharashtra overflowing sewers inundated the houses of residents forcing them to live in an unhealthy environment in the absence of any facilities Extreme weather in South Asia has become more frequent in recent years and environmentalists warn that climate change could lead to even more serious disasters In Pakistan's financial capital Karachi authorities struggled to clear flood waters on Tuesday after torrential rains caused widespread flooding and damage earlier this week Moderate to heavy showers over the past week has inundated parts of the city with water entering homes and shops in low-lying areas. In news from Pakistan, ruling PMLN Vice President Maryam Nawaz has claimed former Premier Imran Khan's opposition PTI party will be thrown out of Pakistani politics after the July 17th Punjab by poll. Addressing a campaign rally on Tuesday, she called PTI an enemy of Punjab and exuded confidence that her party will retain power in the province. PMLN Vice President Maryam Nawaz on Tuesday said ousted Premier Imran Khan led PTI party will be thrown out of politics after the July 17 by poll in Punjab as she predicted her party's victory in the province. Addressing a campaign rally in Jhang area, Maryam said her party's competition was not against arch rival PTI, but with incompetence and inflation. Anticipating people's anger over frequent price hike, she reassured that the government has taken all the tough decisions, and now there will be good news soon. She exuded confidence people will throw out PTI for Punjab's development. Punjab, you have been recognized. Punjab, you will not vote. Inshallah. Punjab, you will not vote. Inshallah. Punjab, you will not vote. Inshallah. बल्कि 17 जुलाई को इंशाला पंजाब तुम्हें उठाकर पंजाब की हदूद से बाहर फेंकेगा और अब रो रहा है कि धांधली हो रही है धांधली हो रही है बल्कि आज कह रहा था धांधला हो रहा है मीन वाइल बेटिंग इनकमेंट गवर्नमेंट पीटीआई चेयरमैन इमरान खान इन हिस्स कैंपेन रैली क्लेम दी पी एम एल एन लेड कोशन गवर्नमेंट हैड नॉट कम टू रिड्यूस इन्फ्लेशन but to abolish the corruption cases registered against its leaders declaring the upcoming by elections in punjab province a fight for real independence khan urged the people to support him against the turncoats and the thieves moving on a top planning department official has claimed that due to lack of funding from pakistani government reconstruction projects have remained stalled in the 2005 earthquake hit areas of pakistan administered kashmir Locals have long raised concern that a complete overhaul is required but the government pays no heed to the dilapidated infrastructure Abid Ghani Mi director planning of Sera the state earthquake reconstruction and rehabilitation agency has claimed infrastructure projects in 2005 quake hit areas of Pakistan administered Kashmir are at a standstill due to lack of funding from the Pakistan government He said instead buildings of unfinished projects are being destroyed despite spending billions of rupees locals have long claimed after the calamity several schools in the region still hold classes in the open while poor condition of roads continue to create daily travel problems for locals in the illegally occupied region they said a complete overhaul is required but the government pays no heed to the dilapidated infrastructure so as i've said since last year and a half we haven't had received any development funds in the meantime the cost has increased more than 30% this 30 billion has not incorporated that cost so that portfolio will also swell residents say it has been nearly 17 years since the earthquake devastated the himalayan region but scores of victims are still awaiting rehabilitation they blame the local stooge government only makes hollow promises while islamabad diverts funds given by international community for reconstruction and development 
The BBC British Broadcasting Corporation investigation said on Tuesday that commandos in Britain's elite special air service SAS Corps killed at least 54 Afghans in suspicious circumstances, but the military chain of command concealed concerns. The four-year investigation found that unarmed Afghan men were routinely shot dead in cold blood by SAS troops during nighttime raids during the long war, and weapons were planted on them to justify the crimes. The report noted that senior officials, including General Mark Carleton Smith, who headed UK Special Forces at the time, were aware of concerns within the SAS about the operations but failed to report them to military police. Many reports were published earlier over war crimes committed by foreign troops during the 20 years of military missions in Afghanistan. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Defence said prior investigations into the conduct of UK forces in Afghanistan found insufficient evidence to bring charges. The ministry in a series of tweets on Wednesday said that the Royal Military Police have written to Panorama and other various media organisations about the crimes allegedly committed by British armed forces in Afghanistan and has requested that material is provided at the earliest opportunity so it can be reviewed. Farmers in Rajouri district of India's northern Jammu and Kashmir territory have taken up organic farming and are growing vegetables and fruits, which have boosted their incomes after facing tough times during the COVID-19 pandemic. People living in far-flung areas of Rajouri district of India's northern Jammu and Kashmir territory have opted for organic farming to boost their incomes after facing tough times due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Locals in Rajouri are dependent on farming business for their livelihood. The farmers of the Dungi block are growing organic vegetables like pumpkins, cucumber and bitter gourd, etc. and selling them on large scale in local markets. As the farmers do not use urea or other chemical fertilizers, they believe that vegetables and fruits grown organically help to boost immunity. और हम यहां काफी सालों से ये सब्जी लगा रहे हैं तकरीबन 10 15 20 साल से हम यहां इस सब्जी लगा रहे हैं और ऑर्गेनिक सब्जी लगा रहे हैं और इसकी बहुत डिमांड है हमें देखकर और भी लोग जो इसकी तरफ और खेती की तरफ आ रहे हैं और ज्यादा सब्जियां उगा रहे हैं और इसकी बहुत डिमांड है द ग्रोथ स्टोरी ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक फार्मिंग इज अनफोल्डिंग विद इंक्रीजिंग डिमांड इन इंडिया इन अ वर्ल्ड बैटर्ड बाय द कोविड-19 पेंडेमिक द डिमांड फॉर हेल्दी एंड सेफ फूड इज ऑलरेडी शोइंग एन अपवर्ड ट्रेंड and farmers believe that it is an opportune moment to be captured for a win-win situation for them, consumers and the environment. India's Eastern Odisha state on Tuesday celebrated the Aid Rasagulla Dibasa, a day dedicated to famous Swed Rasagulla or Raskulla on the occasion of Niladri Biji, which marks the return of Hindu god Lord Jagannath after the nine-day-long annual sojourn to the Gundija temple. India's Eastern Odisha state celebrated its 8th Rasagulla Dibas on Tuesday, a festival in honour of the region's famous sweet syrup-filled cottage cheese ball on the occasion of Niladri Bijay, which marks the return of Hindu god Lord Jagannath from his maternal aunt's home. Rasagullas, also known as Rasgullas, for all sizes were seen at the festival and were offered to the idols of Lord Jagannath, his brother Balbhadra and sister Subhadra. The ceremony was inaugurated by Mayor of Bhumneshwar, Sulochana Das, who was the guest of honour and a member of the Legislative Assembly, Shashi Bhushan Behra. When the Rathayatra has happened, the Rasgulla has been given to the Rasgulla. जो प्रभु जगन्नाथ जी जब वापस आते हैं रथरथर से तो वो उनके बीबी जो लक्ष्मी माँ है उनको और उसका जो मतलब मानभंजन के लिए ये रसगुल्ला दिया जाता है। रसगुल्ला दिवस, which began in 2015, is an annual festival celebrated in Bhumneshwar city. The sweet, which is popular across the country, is believed to have religious origins in Odisha. यहाँ विश्व रसगुल्ला दिवस आज हम लोग मनाए हैं ये आठवीं बार हमने मनाया है क्योंकि 2015 से ये शुरू हुआ था। According to the beliefs, when Hindu Lord Jagannath returned from a chariot festival, his consort Lakshmi got furious at him for not taking her along. Lord Jagannath then presented her with rasgullas to win her back. 
and since then people celebrate the day as Rasgulla Dibas. Well, that's all we have for you from South Asia this evening. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash AsiaNewsline and follow us on Twitter at AsiaNewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India.